We're in the middle of Barcelona, across the sea. <laughs> La Rambla! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's where are we early. going? We're going to Valdaura. Where? Valdaura. Yeah, the Green Fab Lab to visit. The Green Fab Lab, yeah. yeah. Where are we going to visit? Greg is there at least. We're going to see him. Nice. So we're at the Green Fab Lab in Barcelona and we came here to test um, the Watersilla 1.0 version and... Um, oh yeah, look! Water! <laughs> exactly. So we just wanted to make this video to thank everyone who supported the uh, Patreon uh, and the co-budget bucket to make the Watersilla a reality. So it's like a tiny system to clean up water for a hundred people. Anything to add? No, let's go check it out. Thank you. Waterzilla 1.25a. <laughs> so, uh, Waterzilla is a wa open source water purification system that's portable and fits in a backpack. And uh, so what's inside it is a 12 volt solar panel which uh, then charges a battery inside here. With the battery we're powering a 12 volt membrane, 12 volt DC membrane pump. Then we can suck up water from a pond or wherever and then first there's pre-filtration here with this one and then uh, activated carbon and those will clean out like particles and things floating out in the, in the water. And then afterwards we sterilize it with the UV lamp, which is also running from the, the battery. And uh, that makes the water pretty, pretty good and safe to drink. It's supposed to make about 100 liters an hour. So if a person needs, well, you know, for drinking water, it's only a few liters a day. But then with all your domestic needs and things, I think you could have like a family could use it. If you have a lot of sunshine, you could run it like pretty much all day and make uh, wait, a few thousand liters of water a day? That's pretty good. And it's cheap. Like it fits in this small little backpack here. And you can do it yourself. Mm. It's endless. Yeah. Still needs some work. But I was thinking some just laser cut the like a, a frame. So then you can just slot it in and it'll like everything will be fixed in place. But so we have been spending like three days trying to wire up things because why? Because because we don't have the right tools. We need the tools to build the world. And for we tools want. we need so some money. Money. Or just send us tools. <laughs> we could do that too. What do you need? We need uh, wire strippers, a good soldering iron like that one there, like a temperature control, yeah. like screwdrivers that aren't bent, yeah. like oh, like kind of like one of these things. Oh, those are cool. They cost like ten bucks or something. Clip here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, list goes on and on. We present Waterzilla, twelve volt solar panel, or just like a wall socket, but you need a twelve volt adapter. That's going. This is twelve volt, and this is a step up controller turning the twelve volt into eighteen volts. And I think it just—it's a bit too dark, so it's. Oh yeah, you can see the little light there showing if it's in and out is showing if it's out. And when you press this button, you can see the input voltage and output voltage. But whatever. Then that power goes from these into this, which is a charge controller. It takes 18 volt power, and then we use that to charge the 12 volt battery, which is here. And then, so there's the battery here. Then the power comes out of the battery into basically this chunk here. And so uh, we have power going okay, from the battery up through here which goes to the switch and this switch turns on the UV the electronic ballast for the UV lamp which is over here 
Yeah. So it comes like from there, dur, 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 like to the switch, to the battery. And then also the other wires coming from it, which are with these ones here, go to the motor controller for the pump. And I think we just ran out of power, but here with this dial, you can turn it on and off and give it different speeds. Uh, kind of sucks, we just lost power. So this shows the percentage of charge in the battery. So now we realize that I made an expensive water gun. Shower loop. Because <laughs> I'm worth it. <laughs> so we're trying to solve the world. We're trying to solve. We're trying to solve uh, Fab Labs and like their role in the future society. yeah society i think that's the benefit that's the core of it that you can it once it expands out of the lab into the factory we need like fab factories to me if if the parts are good enough then why not start building it with that yeah and then as time goes on, it, the more money or resources you have, or expertise really is the main thing, to make your own circuit board and integrate everything together and optimize it, yeah. then you do that. But if you keep the modularity part, then it, like, it's still safe. Like Now if one component, if it stops working, it might be one component and it costs three bucks. Yeah. So just replace that one and you're back in action. What do you think about Patreon? About Patreon, I think we need more patrons. Then we can move forward faster and like kind of have more action in Patreon, like more, more energy, more synergy to start putting these great, awesome, amazing 20 hour videos on <laughs> online for people to watch while they're eating noodles. <laughs> and I'd say we made pretty good progress. It could be better and we could be more in tune and things. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank for, you so much for, for your support. Giving up some money to build these prototypes. And the final version is gonna cost, like if you just want a gravity backpack that cleans water for 100 people, it should cost less than 150 euros. And then with the pump and, yeah, with the pump and the controller mm -hmm. of the pump, it's like 200. And we're gonna publish all the like details and like the components that you can buy off eBay. Yeah, how to do it yourself. Yeah. Super. Bye. <laughs>